Hi, I'm Matt Burton. Welcome to Vaso. drove down today and there was this a billboard up out the front of Busso. So we've been holidaying down here for 25 years, right? My whole family, my mum's family is really big. She's got seven, six, six siblings. So the extended family would all come down every January. And as everybody knows that comes to Busso and all the locals that know you drive in, there's always this huge billboard, right? And I remember the first time I raced down here and it was always like this time of year, they highlight the event. You know, they're promoting the event, which is cool. And I was like, I would love to be on that billboard one day. And uh, it just so happened when we drove in today, um, you know, Tom's birthday, <laughs> I'm on this billboard. And so he stopped and have a photo. Little does he know what that means, but it's, um, you know, through such a, a challenging year, there's still some little, you know, moments which are pretty special, especially when you're at home and you get to, you know, everyone to see it, everyone to experience it. Yeah, so it was, Two and a half hours, two by 25 minutes, very cadence, blocks through it, about race tempo, 450 watts. Um, yeah, feel right. Uh, let's go! I think it's one of the hardest things in sport to, to go back to back, but to win your first race is also, you know, almost there with it. You know, they say winning's a habit, I believe that across all sporting codes. Um, once you know how to win and you know that you, got, you, you still suffer the same as you normally would, you just learn how to control that feeling and that emotion. Um, and last year was built up, you know, the borders were still shut to a lot of places, so it almost felt like they, the narrator had created a story that it was mine to lose. Um, so that's pressure on itself, right? But I don't know, I love racing here. It's where I first raced. It's where I've, it's a home away from home. Um, winning my first Ironman race, you know, Iron Distance race at home will be forever one of my you know, proudest moments.